Hey what's up everyone, how you're doing? Today I'm going to be playing the Nine Monkeys of Shaolin. I only saw this on Steam today. It's a prologue for the full release of the game, which is actually coming out on the 16th, so only a couple of days away. So I thought I'd have a little blast of it. It looks a bit like a beat-em-up game. It's very much Kung Fu, medley, um, Middle Ages sort of era. Uh, I can't wait. So let's crack on. Um, I don't quite want to go in as novice, I don't think. Oh, foes are quite aggressive. No, let's go in as warrior. Let's be ballsy. Far to the east lies the Middle Kingdom, the homeland of great thinkers and incredible artists. The land of mighty rivers, majestic mountains, and mysterious forests. The legendary temple of South Shaolin first appeared here hundreds of years ago. Its inhabitants perfected their ancient techniques for centuries, training the body, mind, and soul every day. Fearless monks defended the temple from both ruthless bandits and the terrible forces of darkness. But the greatest challenge was the invasion of the Woku, pirates from the east, who landed on the country's southern shores. When the government, mired in corruption, was unable to withstand the enemy's assault, the Shaolin monks decided to break their own rules and help. Joining forces with the Imperial Army, the monks managed to defeat the Wuku troops at the cost of many of their own lives. Victorious, the monks returned to their monastery and life went back to normal in the coastal towns. However, for the young fisherman Wei Cheng and his village, trouble followed trouble seemingly without end. Wei Cheng, bandits again in less than a month. I must find grandfather. He probably went to fight them on his own. I didn't read it quick enough. So let's see what we got. Moving about. We got ooh, cool directional jumping. Look at that, it's like Capoeira. So we've got all sorts of strikes going on. Slashing strike. Smash them up. Okay. Oh, look at that spin and kick combo. Yeah, a bit. Destructible stuff. Oh, yeah. Long Gwing Green Tea restores 20% of health. Press the up button to drink it or hold down the up button button to drink until full recovery. Too many buttons there. Enemy golden attacks can't be disrupted by normal strikes. I've got to parry them. Cool. Oh, I didn't parry that one though, did I? I like that parry thing. Twizzles his bow staff about. You got more tea to be had? Whoa. There you go, getting the parry now. I've taken a bit of damage there, so let's press the up up button. tea to be had. Doesn't look like it. Now it's quite weird that I don't have any kind of sound effects going on here. Some more tea. There we go. Let's get back down, mate. Eh? 
Oh, Uber T. Nice. Right, we got ourselves enough to push on. Next is a kick. Cool. Whoop. If we can parry these blow darts. No. I do like that kick attack, that's brilliant. on the sound fix. I'm just going to have a quick little look. Sound effects volume is on 100. Hmm. A bit odd. Oh well. Crack on. Some more tea. Wei Cheng, go at once. You're not safe, I think it was. Can't remember. Didn't really quick enough. Oh dear, not your words. Oh, blow on me. Whoop. I just died. That was actually storyline I should have read. Okay, you have awoken at last. I'm glad that my potions were able to help, for you were barely breathing when I found you. Who are you? How did I end up here? We are the monks of South Shaolin. I'm Master Zong Fei on my left is Master Quang Li, the leader of our group, and Master Zhuan Pei, his right hand man. Didn't have to read that one quite so quick. You are in our camp in an abandoned Tulu not far from your village. Our scouts found you among the ruins and brought you here. I'm sorry, we arrived when it was all over and the village was nothing but a smoking ruin. You were the only survivor. Monsters, I'll hunt them down and kill each and every one of them. I really think that these are normal bandits. We're sorry to bring you such sad news, but at least you are safe now. You are recovering quickly and will be able to return to your relatives soon. Do you have somewhere to go? I lost my parents when I was still a child and my grandfather raised me. The rest of my family lived in the same village. Fate has been harsh to you, Wei Chang. We will wait until you are fully healed and then decide what to do. We cannot just toss you out onto the street. Cool. Well, we look a little bit Keanu Reeves style don't we? Now we can actually see our character. So let's have a little look. Lee Haibo asked you to speak to him. I guess that's one of these guys. No? They don't want to talk? Oh, is it this guy? He looks like... Yeah. You Haibo. Hello Wei Cheng, my name is Wei Haibo. You don't look like a monk, you're a sharp one. I am a poor merchant, as well as a captain of the ship Sparrow Feather. We will meet the monks in the south, in the Fujian province. The same place where the temples of South Shaolin is located. That's right, they needed a ship to get over here to Zi Cheng. I didn't take any money for the service and ended up staying with them. I look after the weapons and help them get where they need to go. I don't have a crew right now, so the monks themselves are helping me sail the ship. First combat sailors of Shaolin in the world. Okay, so, oak pole. Yep, can't change it. Looks like we've got a slot here for some prayer beads. And we're currently barefoot, so we need to find some sandals. Does anyone want to talk to us again? No. Well, what was that, um, down? No, no, no. Can pray to Buddha. So before we've got any more dialogue, I must say, apologies for butchering any of these Chinese words. Uh, I'm having to read this dialogue rather quick. And obviously Chinese isn't exactly a language I'm well versed in. 
If you need any help during the battle, just call for me. I'm not Master Zenglong, of course, but I can certainly fight as well as you. Start network play, start local co op game. Nope, I'm okay, thank you. Alright, let's talk about the Zongfei. I guess you have some balls, lad, and you can stand up for yourself. However, you must start using your chi in combat. Follow me and I'll teach you how to achieve it. Wow, get to use chi. Let's start with the focusing on internal power within you. Try to feel how it flows within your whole body, filling every part of you. Now go ahead with one of the strokes, but keep it slow. Try to get all of your energy in it. Oh yeah, hold down. There's a power attack. Beats kind. I like it. You're quick study, Wei Cheng, aren't you? Keep in mind that your power is limited and it only fulfills during combat. I think some of the translation's a little bit out here. I think it's meant to be refill rather than fulfill. Good job. Now you can either practice a bit more with Yin or head back to Tulu. Seems like you have to deal with something there. Yeah, let's finish training. I'm cool with that for now. I've got power attacks. Ah, oh, now the chess guys want to talk to us. Wee Cheng, since you've almost fully recovered, I have a simple but very important request. This is Zhuan Pei. Brother Zenlong has gone to the temple of the late Plum on Putushan. We haven't heard from him in a while, and Lu Haibo is planning to sail after him. Can you help him? Of course, it's no bother. Plus, Master Zongfei told me that I need to move more. Thank you, that would be a huge help. You'll meet Zenlong at the same time. He's one of the best South Shaolin warriors. Right, so Zhuan Pei, Brother Zenlon has gone to the Temple of the Late Plum. Yep, that's exactly what he's just told us, isn't it? Okay. Reward, some kind of super duper shovel, boblets of things. And obviously it's not a shovel, but it very well could be. I'll go and check the hold since we recently developed a rat problem. I will wait for you here. Oh, I skipped that one. Crap. These are herbal potions. Hurry up. I want to leave before noon. Okay. Strange baguettes are broken. Let's see if we can get any tea in these. No. Okay. Just gonna have to kick some butt. Oh. Jumping kick attack is brilliant. Yeah, there we go. Didn't take a scratch. I like it. Oh, oh, pants. I had to speak too soon now, didn't I? How do we get our oh, blowpipe dude off of his little ledge? Why's that stick rolling around? Aha! I've got a parry of a shot back at him, Jedi style. Like it. That's cool. There we go. A couple of bits of tea. Get some downness. I've definitely powered that one. I want to quickly check these controls. I think there was another block type button. Deflect is top left. Yeah, hey, was it? Yeah, let's just deflect and dodge. Okay, cool. Let me check I'm not missing a trick somewhere. Let's get 
blow that guy first. It's really weird trying to play a game like this with no sound effects. I'm kind of used to getting the, uh, the noise of all your hits making contact. Hey, go for Jedi parry again. Come on, mate. Yeah, we go, I have that. Getting through the tea, though. stuff in your face. Oh dear, he's got a big chopper. Shikami, this isn't a temple, it's a part of useless crap. Or did you morons find it? Shit, finish off the monks in this low life and burn this place down. Whom are you calling a low life? Oh. Straight into it, no mucking around. Ah, low dark guy. Slow mo stuff. Got bullet time going on. Whoop, get out there. Quick T. Oh, crap. This isn't going to go well. What? God, this many of them, you almost have to be permanently parrying. Ah, got the timing 
these guys is really hard to get. They've wind back that paddle for so long. Get out, get out, get out. T. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a battle. Yes, my name is Wei Cheng. Zi Gong Li has sent me in Li Haibo to get you. That was only round one. However, I must admit that their leader, despite fighting with the grace of a drunk pelican, possesses superhuman strength. Quick, let's head to the ship before Liu Haibo starts complaining again, but we're dawdling. There we go, Mount Puto. Reward. Four wheels of life. That's pretty cool, I guess. Four, four seems like a good number. Considering I didn't go too easy and go on the easiest game mode, I'm actually pretty sure after that. The monks themselves haven't heard anything, but the Wuku still left behind a few hints. Seems that at least two clans are operating in this region. Red Clan, which attacked Wee Cheng's village, and Green Clan, which we confronted just now. We don't yet know if they are connected. Wait, wait, did you say Waku? That's right, Japanese pirates have reappeared by the shores of the Middle Kingdom, although their attacks are still very infrequent. But you had crushed the Waku five years ago. Thought my village was attacked by just another band of brigands who dressed up as pirates to scare people. We've done that before. I don't care if they're bandits or another Waku invasion. I want to help you fight them. First, it's too early to talk about a full-scale invasion. There are different theories about what is happening, and our group was sent here to find the answer. Second, if we need help with fishing, we'll be sure to call for you. Fishing? Hey, I fight better than you do. Yeah, pull the other one. How would a simple fisherman know how to fight? Star fighting was a skill passed down through the generations in my family, as well as fishing. Grandfather didn't have time to teach me everything, but it was enough to defend our village from bandits. It would certainly be enough to knock the teeth out of those filthy pirates. I've seen him fight, Guang Li. His technique is weak, but he has enough strength and endurance for two. I'll give him that. Plus, you know yourself that if you survive with such wounds as his, as much as I respect our teacher, there is more at work here than infusions. And he can kill a pirate by grabbing him by the moustache. They killed my whole family and destroyed my home. Give me a chance to get even. Fine, an extra staff won't hurt. Come back when you're ready. I have a few tasks for you. I won't let you down. Oh, hey, well, there we go. I think I'm going to call it there. That's a good little introduction to this prologue. I think there's a little bit more to it. So I'm just going to call it there. Come back with another episode in a day or two. Hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. Please let us know what you think about it. Leave us a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. Leave us some comments. Let us know how you feel about it. It'd be great to hear from you. Stay tuned for the next one. I don't know how many there are going to be, but there's at least one more. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.